Good morning, guys. It's Abby, and today you guys are going to see my face without any makeup. And also, I'm going to a um, like a little Thanksgiving thing at my daughter's school, and then I have to go to a meeting for the school, and then after that, I have to go see some family. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. Don't mind the wood right here. I have a big mirror over here so I can do my makeup so I am not doing my makeup in the camera. And um, let's do a get ready with me. I'm super excited. So I'm going to try, my face is really dry right now. I moisturized it with a moisturizer that I got in, I think it was my birch box and I forget the name of it, but I already moisturized, I washed my face in the shower and then I moisturized my face and now I'm going to try the Pore Professional from Benefit. It is a primer. So let's try this out. Oh, it's tan. I um, do a lot of my makeup with my fingers. I have, I've just always done that. So using brushes is something that I'm just not used to doing, but I'm gonna try to, well, I do my eyeshadow with my brushes and most of my foundation with my brushes, but um, there's a lot of things that I don't use brushes for, so do not judge. And primer is one of them. That's for real. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Thanksgiving and what I am going to be doing for Thanksgiving. I am going to be having my sister's family here, uh, my sister Amanda, and we are going to do a small little Thanksgiving meal. It was just going to be me and my family, my husband my and my two daughters, but then I found out that my sister Amanda was not going to Pennsylvania, and I invited her here, so I am going to be making a big meal for all of... Ooh, this is really soft, guys. This is like the softest primer I have ever used. It feels like powder. Um, so I'm gonna be having my whole, not my whole, but I'm gonna be having my sister and her little, well, her big family. She has four kids and her husband over for Thanksgiving and I'm super, super excited about it because I love, I love, love, love having my sister here with her family. I really do, it's just, I'm so excited about it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is the Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Skin Fit Me Foundation in 120. This is my favorite foundation to use. It is not full coverage, but it definitely works for me. Um, I love it so much. It is definitely my favorite. And I just dab a little bit just dab a little bit of foundation on my face and work it in. And I do put like this foundation all over. I mean all over. Like just cover this up. Right? Anybody else? Just dab it everywhere. My lighting is really bad today. It's just terrible lighting. I don't know why I can't get good lighting. I'm actually going to invest in lights as well as a new camera soon. So I'm just worried because I do a lot of my editing for my camera on um, my phone. For Not for my camera. I do a lot of my video editing on my phone. And I use the, um, the, what's that app? The iMovie app. So... I do a lot of my editing on my phone and it's so much easier for me that way to do it that way and I don't have the best I don't have the best how do I say it I don't have the best computer at all I have a Lenovo and it is um, a really good camera I mean a, it's a good it is a good computer to just use it for little things. It's nothing that I can use for big projects. Like I'm writing my book on that computer and I find that I am more worried about losing my book that I'm writing on the camera. I mean, excuse me. I'm more worried about losing what I'm writing on that computer because I'm always scared 
that I am going to delete it somehow. And my kids use it. it. You can actually make it into a like a laptop kind of thing. Like it's a tablet. You can change it into a tablet. And my kids use it a lot. And um, I'm just scared that something's going to happen to it. And I'm going to end up losing everything that I've worked on. So that's my one problem with getting a new camera. I'm afraid that like it's not gonna work with my videos. So my face is so dry. Like it's so dry right now and nothing is curing the dryness at all. Nothing is curing my dryness. Oh, I'm so sexy. <laughs> Why am I so sexy? I don't know, someone help me. Next, I'm gonna cover my dark circles. So I use True Match that goes with this. It matches, doesn't look like it matches perfectly in the camera, but it does. And I also have the It Cosmetics CC Plus I, and I love this. So I'm going to put a little bit of this the It Cosmetics under my eye right here. And then I go in with this applicator. The cover, is this what it is, what it is? It's the L'Oreal, I'm sorry, L'Oreal Paris. To cover my dark circles. Don't mind my bed, I did not make it. I did not make it and I don't want to make it today so you're just gonna to have to deal with it and then I just go in with this brush and I dot the foundation in so my foundation is on I still have dark circles so let's put on let's see what am I gonna put on my face today for my dark circles I'm gonna use a little bit of the Lord & Berry Soft Touch Concealer and just dab it in the corners of my eyes. And then I'll also put a highlighter on when I'm done. Like when I do my full face, I will put a highlighter on so that it will help conceal my dark circles. Because I am so pale, my dark circles look like death. So this is the Play Beauty. I got this in my Wannable box and it is a powder, uh, a powder. It's a powder foundation in Tender. And I'm going to use this just to, and it's, it's a matte. I'm gonna just use this to cover up certain spots on my skin that were not covered up as well with the liquid foundation that I used. And I really like this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten from Wannable because it matches my skin tone perfectly and it stays. Like it kind of feels like a liquid foundation, like the texture of it once it's on my skin, which is really nice to have. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So I'm using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in dark brown. And I'm almost out, guys. Like, I could cry. I am almost out. This is the last little bit. I hate doing my brows. I actually plucked my eyebrows when I was young. When I was 16, I started doing my eyebrows. I know it's super late in my game, but... I really didn't wear that much makeup when I was younger. And when I was 16, I started wearing makeup and I started doing my eyebrows. Um, but I wasn't filling my eyebrows in. I was just plucking them. And I plucked them so thin one time and they never grew back. Like I have some that kind of sporadically grow back here and there, but I do not have a bunch of eyebrows growing in. So I, like if I don't fill in my eyebrows, they'll, I'll look like I have none. Like, well, maybe not none, but it will look like I have, I don't have. I am using my eyeshadow primer. It's Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. 
And this is my favorite eyeshadow primer ever. I mean, it really is. It is my favorite. I love this so much, so much, you have no idea. Because I love eyeshadow. Oh, goodness gracious one. I love eyeshadow. I love to prime my eyeliner. I mean, I love to, I love eyeshadow. I love to use the primer because it makes my eyeshadow last much longer. And um, I just love this primer. It's such a good primer. It really makes your lash, your um, eyeshadow last longer. It really does. And I am using a brush for my primer because I feel like it gets on better when I use the brush, as well as um, gives me a fuller and smoother application than using my fingers. Because I feel like my fingers, like the oil, takes off the primer, like I just did just then. I just took off the primer with my finger. And this is a Coastal Scents brush, and it's BRCS51. All right, so there is my eyeshadow primer. I like to let my eye, my eyeshadow primer set in for a little bit because I feel like if I put it on when it's too wet, it doesn't work. So I'm going to go in and start to put a little color on my face. I am using the brush by Nanshai, and it's a powder brush, but I like to use this for my um, bronzing powder because I feel like it gives me better coverage. And I'm, oh, I'm using the Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette that I got in my um, boxy chart, I think. And I like to use, as you can tell, it is so dirty, <laughs> embarrassing, but I like to use this one and then I go in with this one when I'm done with my coverage, as much coverage as I like. So I just put it on like this. I know everyone's like, why are you putting it all over your face? Guys, I am so pale. And I don't go like nuts or crazy with it. I kind of just put a little bit on the brush and a little bit goes a long way with this. And then I go in with the, the lighter. And I do that. So now I have a little bit of color on my face. And then after I do that, and I make sure that it's nice and my chin looks a little off. Okay, um, I take my blush brush from Beauty 360 and it is a blush powder brush. And I'm going to use the dark color right here and just very, very, very lightly get a little bit on my brush and then I tap. And then after I tap, I smooth in. This is a perfect video for beginners because I'm not that good at my makeup. Now that my eyeshadow primer is set in, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do for my eyeshadow today. I have the Julep eyeshadows. I have one in Copper Shimmer which is this pretty shade. And I also have one in Pearl Shimmer, which I can use this as a highlight, which I really like to do on the inner corners of my eyes and underneath, um, which I think I'm gonna do that anyway. But I also have this one palette, and I'm not sure if you guys have, I'm sure one of someone's seen it, but it is a drugstore palette, and it's my like my go-to palette with if I am going out and I just don't feel like doing like a fancy look, I will go to this palette because it stays on all day and it has all the colors that I like the most. And it, that is my um, the blush nudes by Maybelline. I actually really like this palette. I don't know a lot of people that I haven't seen a lot of videos of this, but I really like it. There is fallout. And as you can tell, I have used it a lot, but I really like to use the um, the shimmery purple and the shimmery bronze. And then I like to do the um, matte purple on the top of my lid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what my go-to look is. If I am 
in a hurry and I just don't want to do a fancy look. So let me make sure I get the right brush. Okay. Ooh. So this is the Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. And I don't know the differences between brushes. I just use whatever brushes I think are the best for me. I do not follow what everyone else does. I never have. So I'm using this color right there. That's what we're using. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? What is, are you guys going to family? Are you having family come over? What are your plans? This is the first time I am actually hosting Thanksgiving, so I am a little bit nervous for mine. I, I really am. I don't think my sister's gonna care either way. I think she's gonna just be happy with whatever I do, but I am nervous because I've never done it before. I've never, I've always gone to someone else's house for Thanksgiving, and since we just moved into our new place, my kids would like to spend their holiday at their home. Like for each, um, and I'm just taking, um, I have another one of these powder brushes from um, Beauty 360 that I take all the fallout off of my um, skin with. I don't use this for anything else but fallout. Um, but anyway, my kids, we have always gone to someone else's house for any sort of holiday. And because of that, they really want to be here. They want to just spend Thanksgiving here as well as Christmas. We used to go for Christmas. We used to go to my, my husband's mom's house and we'd stay there for Christmas Eve, sleep over and then open presents there and then go back to our house. And my kids just don't want to do that anymore. They're, they're ready to stay at their house now. Okay. So the next one I'm going to use, so I'm going to be doing the purple shimmer as well as the bronze shimmer. And I'm going to mix those two together to make a look on my eye. So I'm going to use the purple one first. And I am using the Lottie, the Lottie London, I don't know what this brush is, but I love it. So my kids are really excited to be able to stay here for the holidays. They are really excited and I'm a little nervous because I'm doing Thanksgiving for the first time. I'm gonna take the purple shimmer and sometimes I like it pretty dark because once I start blending it out, it kind of like goes away. But um, I take the purple shimmer and I put it towards this side of my eyes right here. And then I take the copper with another Luxie, two, Luxie 237 blending brush and I take the copper And I put it right here. There's one thing about the Luxie brushes that I don't like. Um, I like my brushes to be stiffer. I like them to be super stiff so that when I um, use them, I don't feel like they're bending so much. I, that's why I like the um, the Lottie brush so much because it doesn't bend. It really, it doesn't bend. I love that it doesn't blend, it doesn't bend. And I also have this brush, it's the Glamour Dolls number 10 brush that I really like, it has little whales on it. And then this one as well, this is the Marabella concealer brush, but I use this, I use this and I use this one for blending my eyeshadow into the crease. So I'm going to actually use the Glamour Dolls one and I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to blend it into my crease. So I am, I'm nervous guys. I'm nervous to have Thanksgiving at my house. Like I feel like Christmas, I don't get that nervous because Christmas is about the kids and Really, it doesn't matter what you do for Christmas as long as your kids are happy. And, um, but Thanksgiving is more about the food and being with each other and, you know, just having a good time. And I just want to make sure that everything is perfect. So now I'm just going over with the purple again. And 
I really like the way the purple looks with the dark that I just put on. Okay, so that completes the actual eye look. And then I take this brush because I do get a lot of fallout and I just go like this to get all the fallout off. And then I usually have to touch up my face look when I'm done. Okay, um, what was I doing? Okay, so now I'm going to take the Luxie 205. It's a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to take the purple that I put, the light purple that I put up here, and I'm just going to redo it because sometimes it gets messed up. And then I'm going to take this light color right here and highlight under my brow. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow look. It's very simple. It's not um, too crazy. So when I go to my kid's school, it's not going to look like, oh my gosh, she looks like she has tons of makeup on as my hair just completely fell. I'm going to take the pearl shimmer and I'm going to put that in the corners of my eyes. I actually like to take this new brush that I got. It's the Crown C513. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I like to take this like this. And I put it in the middle, well not the middle, but the corner of my eye. So it gives me a little bit of a highlight. It also takes away, like I like to highlight the corners of my eyes because it helps cover up the fact that I have such dark circles. And then I just do a little bit right here. I know that I'm not like, I am nowhere near perfect with my makeup. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I just, um, I do it anyway. And it sometimes looks great and sometimes it doesn't, but I still do my own makeup the way that I want to because that's just what I like to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the eyeliner. I have this Julep Gel Eye, Julep Gel Eye Glider and I love this so much it is an eyeliner that glides on you just have to if you want like a really precise line with this eyeliner you have to sharpen it because it gets dull very fast and i have the julep sharpener it kind of looks like a bullet it has a top that goes with it but i took the top off so i can sharpen it if i need to and um this is a really great eyeliner it's in it is in blackest black Alright guys, so my eyeliner is on. I only put eyeliner on the top lash line because I don't like when I have eyeliner underneath because I feel like it always bleeds and I look a hot mess. So I don't have any eyeliner on underneath. So now I'm going to go do my Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I got this in my Wonderable box and I've heard great things about it. I have not used it very often. I think I only used it once before and since I'm so used to using a certain um a certain mascara i just wasn't used to it so i'm going to try it out again and see if i like it all right guys so that i actually kind of like it today it's not a big it was it's very wet like i know mascara is supposed to be wet but i feel like it's super wet and i definitely got some on my Face. I feel like it's just I feel like it's super wet and I'm afraid to put it on my bottom lashes but I'm gonna try on my bottom lashes pretty nice I actually liked that so I'm gonna use the matte stick that I received I forget where and um, it's it is a red but it comes on more of a berry and I'm gonna use this I don't have a liner that matches this so I'm a little bit nervous about the liner part like not having liner I'm afraid it's gonna bleed but we're gonna try it out anyway This was so hard to put on because maybe it's because it's matte, but I feel like it's very, very drying. And um, 
I don't know. It just felt like it was really dry. So guys, this is my final look that I did for my get ready with me. I know my lighting's not the best and I'm sorry, but um, I am gonna have to invest in lights as well as a new camera. I just wanted to get ready with you guys today and show you what I do on, not on a regular daily basis, but what I do for my go-to look. I always, always, always do a red lip. I like nudes as well, but I feel like nude kind of washes me out a little bit. So I usually go to a red lip as well as I like to do the um, soft eyeshadow look and I always have eyeliner and I always have mascara on. That's just what I like to do. And my brows are always a mess. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a really great day. And I hope you guys like my first Get Ready With Me video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.